What if you have an injury, you go away, or you fall off, or if you get extremely busy, should you still do a belly burn challenge, or should you just throw the towel in? Today I'm going to tell you that whatever you're going through, whatever you've got on your schedule, the coaches are always going to be there because this is done virtually anyways. So unless you plan on eating like crap for an entire week because you're going on a all-inclusive and you don't want to waste your money, so you want to booze it and you want to drink it, then okay, that makes sense. Then maybe don't do the belly burn challenge. But if you want to focus on nutrition once and for all and you want to see actual lifelong changes, then there is the best time to do a belly burn is all the time. So when it comes to if you suffer an injury, what you need to do is try the workout and then modify the workout, do what you can, and see a physio to get some exercises and ask what type of modifications should you do. Because nine out of 10 times, any injury that anybody suffers, there's always something we can do. Let's say you have some type of shoulder thing. Well, no problem, we can do your abs, we can do your legs. Let's say you have a foot or knee thing. No problem, we can do your abs, we can do your upper body. There's always something that can be done and I want you to try and then we'll modify and we'll make the most of it. And again, this is a nutrition challenge, so there's no reason why we can't still focus on your nutrition even if you aren't working out. Now what happens if you go away during a challenge? Simple, we'll give you access to the virtual workouts. You can book a hotel or book a resort that has a gym and make it a part of your daily schedule. Or if you're traveling in a city, you can maybe visit one of their local boot camps. But no matter what, you can still do the workouts. And the nice thing is that when you go out to eat, you have a guideline of calories and macros that you need to hit, and it's gonna hold you accountable so that you're not eating that extra piece of bread, or you're not supersizing this, or you're not doubling up portions on that and snacking all day. If you're going away on a vacation, it should be about the vacation and not about the garbage food that you plan to eat. So get rid of the garbage food and just enjoy the vacation. Still work out, either way, we'll find a way to make it work. Now, a lot of people do end up falling off. Life gets busy, they go on a vacation, they suffer an injury, something happens in their personal life that they just need a little bit of a break, but don't worry about it. Because if you reach out to your coach, guess what? They're gonna be there for you for the 28 days to keep you motivated and to push you to continue to move forward. Because remember, even something small is better than nothing. So just by reaching out to your coach, checking in with them, I guarantee you after a couple days of just kind of resetting and relaxing, you're gonna to want to get back on board and you're gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna try my best to finish this challenge and at least you can do a little bit, which honestly will go a long way. Now what happens if you do get busy? All I would tell you is that you just need to manage your time a little bit better and it's literally that simple. So you need to either start sleeping earlier over the next 28 days so that you can wake up earlier and get the workout done before everybody demands something of you or you start to fit in virtuals into your workout where you're getting that virtual workout but even still if you're super busy that has nothing to do with the foods that you're eating. Even if you're eating out consistently and you're not working out, that means that you need less calories and your coaches are gonna be able to help you and adjust your calories so that you actually hit goals without even working out. So that nice thing about the belly burn challenge is that if something does come up, whatever the reason, we'll always be there to make sure that you still get results. So no matter what, yes, you should do the belly burn.